Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about extraneous solutions. I think we've talked about that before, but it's when you get a solution but the solution doesn't work. <laughs> We saw that when we were, um, you know, like when we had the square root of x equals negative 5. Okay, you're not going to get the square root of a number to be negative, to equal a negative value. So we know there's no solution. But when you square both sides, you get x equals 20, 25. And it looks like that's going to be, you know, algebraically, that would be a solution. But in fact, it doesn't work because when you take the square root of 25, it doesn't equal negative 5. So this is called an extraneous solution. Um, seems like it should work, but it doesn't really work. Okay, so now we have an example with a little bit different technique of solving. You'll notice that you have base e in here in two places. Um, you cannot subtract those, by the way. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll just combine those. No, you can't combine them. Um, sorry. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use a u substitution. I want to say we did these like a long time ago, like back in February. And we're going to let e to the x equal u. All right, so what that means then is I'm going to have e to the x squared. That's the first term here, minus e to the x. And I'll just subtract the 56 over. So it's in that form of a quadratic. Um, the book doesn't do it this way. They just go ahead and factor it. But um, I like to show the u substitution. So you get u squared minus u minus 56 equals 0. And you go, oh, it's a quadratic equation. I love those. Let me, let me factor it. So it's going to be u minus 8 times u plus 7. And so you're going to say, okay, u equals 8 or u equals negative 7. So then you go back to your u substitution here and you say two things. e to the x equals 8. Okay, we can solve that. We'll just take the natural log of both sides. So natural log it. or x equals the natural log of 8. Okay, so now let's do the other one. e to the x equals negative 7. And we'll just natural log it. Okay, now we have a problem. <laughs> We're not allowed to take the natural log of a negative number. Remember, the argument has to be greater than 0. So this part right here can't be negative. And so this one's out. That would be an extraneous solution. It's not going to work. We get one solution, uh, x equals the natural log of 8.